<laughs> That's how we get the best fit, son, trust me. Well, which way are these fucking three lanes are? Left, right, or straight up? I'd say just go straight, mate. Come at even, <laughs> See where we end up. This is the old Oakland's children's home in uh, in Lowton. And now the place is due for demolition because the building houses on the site. I've just chipped the fence. Now we've been past here multiple times and we've never had any access. But we've just drove past the front now. Just look at that gaff. And uh, there is indeed an open door baby so hopefully with it being a Saturday no workers are going to turn up now last time we came all this was uh, trees so this foreboding monstrosity of a gaff used to be sat within its own quaint little woodland if you will just look up there man how creepy does that look this is literally like something out of a hammer horror flick. Wait till I show you the front. But as you can see, the demo and everything around, uh, and obviously the houses, while well, the home is the last thing. I believe it was used for the council at some point in its later, later life, but I'm hoping this door, open doorway here will lead me right inside. But if I just turn you around now, Hopefully, we'll capture it all within the frame. Just look at that bad boy. What a foreboding gaff. Now I'm going to just jib in and I'm going to get my cinematics last. But just look at the old front door there, you can see all the ivy climbing up and just look at the windows up top they were actually stained glass at some point and at the top it, on the on the little uh, carved thing it says equam severe severe mentem whatever that means and right there there is a little gargoyle on the corner now it says the, the site's got security signs on and that but i doubt there's going to be security here but if you look there we are in now I've got Gary and Lewis on standby outside, but I don't know whether there's going to be anyone in here or not. But whew, here we go. Oh my God, guys, we are literally right in. Don't fancy this one, to be honest with you. So if uh, if anyone anyone is watching, used to uh, frequent this gaff or came to this gaff when they were kids or whatever let us know man because um, I've heard some I've heard some pretty nasty tales out of this whole place to be honest with you so if you stayed here and had a bad experience or a good experience either way give us a shout we don't want you all your details but just to know that you once stayed here will be enough I'm already, not, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm getting creepy, creepy vibes and we're not even in the old main Victorian part of the building. Um, my commentary is probably a bit messed up because we literally just clocked it, pulled up, jibbed over unexpectedly, you know. Uh, when you get an opportunity and you've been coming to a place like this for so long trying to get in, then you tend to take it I don't know whether to push up here. I think I'm going to push up here first. Just so we can have a proper look around. And I just pray 
that none of the neighbours who clock me. Jesus Christ, look at that through there, guys. Wow. Wow, look at this. You can literally see right out. Just little moments like this when you're in an old abandonment. Nobody knows you're here, but you know, you come to an open window like that and these little moments of karma. I don't know, man, it's just... I tell you what, guys, it's incredible doing what I do. I love it. Got some old files there. I am honestly here. Uh... Oh, you can see some children's wallpaper at the bottom of that room. Yeah, so these were... These were children's bedrooms, I assume. an awkward way up. We should have gone the main, the main doorway, the main front doorway. This is creepy, man. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I assume there's more bedrooms up there. And then look at that down there, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, uh, this is creepy in here. Yeah, I've heard, you can see they're ripping it all out, I think, uh, I think we've just got here in time because I'm hoping some of the main, bit of the, bit of the main building is, uh, is still intact. Look at that, wow. Pretty much it's intact, there's just a few walls busted or whatever, but I know it lay derelict for a long time and just over road was an old house called Green Lawn and I wanted to do that but I never got to do it and in the end it, it got demolished. Look at the uh, archway above the door up there. Hello? Just look how tall these rooms are down here. Oh my days, I'm, I've got, sh oh wow, guys, are you ready for this? Look at that, man. You've got the tiles on the floor. Oh man, that is incredible. Look at that, guys. Original Victorian architecture still intact just look at that main entrance that is quite literally incredible that is um, oh wow look at the marble the tiles here look at that man yeah uh, forget the name for that stuff but wow so this victorian era building with all this beautiful Original to all of these original features up here is potentially going to be demolished. Just look at that, man. I don't know if it's dripping, but I do keep hearing noises. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is uh, creepy. If you look there, Metropolitan Wigan. Wigan Access Award 1993. Community services in recognition of their endeavours to create a building accessible and usable by all sections of the community. But if you look here, you can see Oakland's Children's Home, 196 New Newton Road, Lowton. And if you look there, guys, Zone 2, Basement. Got a little spider there. <sighs> Guys, I'm not messing about. Like, I did a place called the Victoria Hotel in Wigan, yeah. And my lord, I had uh, a 
can't explain it. It's like you really do feel like there's piercing eyes on your back and I'm getting that in here. There is no question about it. Hey up. That's not the basement, but just a little uh, little room and you would have been able to see out there onto the Grand Gardens back in the day, the woodland, you know. But you just imagine, guys, pitching up outside this building, looking up at it as a young child, knowing that you're getting put in here, potentially after the loss of your parents or something like that. That is a scary thought. How incredible is that window? I don't know if you can make out the stained glass, but we'll take you up there in a second. What an incredible place. Wow. So yeah, this would have once been, I don't know, perhaps a living room, maybe a dining room. Imagine the pattern of children running about in here. Perhaps a big Christmas tree in the corner there. And I mean, I don't think, I don't think it were all sinister happenings that happened here. I think, uh, I think a lot of people liked their time here. But I have heard some, some horror stories. Uh, I'm not getting into it because I don't want to glorify the people who commit such disgusting atrocities but you know what I mean here we go the look there oh it's Ikea <laughs> it's definitely not a, definitely not an ancient artifact but just look down there guys even in the daytime I'm feeling uh, I don't know man it's eerie tiles are amazing but I think we're gonna push up this carved wooden staircase and uh, I think this would have pretty much been the main entrance where children would have came in back in the day, you know. Look at the old radiator there, man, wow. And then if you look, you've got all this beautiful stained glass. It's now just gonna be uh, well, soon will be just an echo of the past, you know. Yeah, definitely hearing stuff behind me in here, guys. My lord, look at it. And the camera, um, because it fits everything in frame, you don't really, um, you can't really register the scale of it, but I promise you guys, yeah, it's all being ripped out, man, look at that, we're too late. Got it, but I promised so many people that I would do it, and I, I promise you, I have tried, guys, over the years, and we've never been able to get in, but as you can see, we're a little bit late, but I mean, just for that itself, uh, I mean, just giving people one last look at the place is enough. I, I know that, you know, but I wish I could have, wish I could have got in when it was a little more intact. Just in case this was perhaps one of your bedrooms or something and you used to sit on this windowsill. Well, uh, have a little peek out. It's one of them beautiful days as well, guys, where it's... I've got a t-shirt on. It's nice and humid, but you've got that lovely smell of... of wetness in the air, you know. I love them days. Uh, old archway up there. Just look at the ceilings. Wow. So you can see where, you know, I mean, <laughs> look there. 
we're still on the wood chip, wood chip. And I was going to say, you can see where they've modernised it, but that's just been painted over for decades, hasn't it, man? Got another little window there. Can't really see out of that, though, but... I want to try and get up into the turret at the top, guys, you know, the... the little tower. Um, I don't know how grainy the footage is going to be with it being... with it being a bit dark, but this camera is not super clever in the dark, but... it does enough to... you know... it does its job, really, I suppose. If anyone comes in, I don't care anyway. I've had so many requests to do this place, guys, and uh, well, here I am. <laughs> I knew I'd get it in the end. So, all the people who message me privately and that, uh, I hope that we've done it. Or I will do it as some kind of. Uh, some kind of justice. I wish I were better prepared for it, but sometimes, uh, oh, that's the way we came, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. Spare at the moment. And look at that. It says, "Hello, where are you?" I don't want to know. <laughs> Hello? I was dripping. Yeah. You might not be getting scary vibes, guys, but I don't even mean scary vibes. I mean just creepy vibes, man. You can literally see the remnants of some of the old wallpaper in here, too. You know, there's actually like uh, a little ladder on the wall there. I don't know what that was. Never stayed in any of these rooms, guys, or you know, this brings back any memories for you then. Share your history in the comments because it all counts collectively towards the history of these places, you know. I'm thinking if I push up these here, we can get up to that. Christ, they are dodgy. <sighs> my lord, yeah. Oh man, they're creaking beneath me, guys. You know you lot are going to be the death of me one day. My lord. Just look at this, it's like a... Uh, you've got a window up there and then you've got this little... doorway here and I presume what would have been a toilet, possibly. Yeah. I don't know, man, I'm getting all sorts of vibes in here. You know, just these little rooms like this, what, what seedy goings on could have happened, like. Hello? <sighs> yeah, this is, uh, my arsehole's going penny to a pound in here, guys. I'm sorry to be so blunt. <laughs> Oh my god, that looks like an eerie room there. Let's, uh, oh wow, yeah. Let's push off. Look at that, man. The old skylight. Oh wow, look at that. There's a, there's a little cubby all over the wall. We'll have a look in there, man. Let me, uh, Wow, look at that. 
That sounds changes settings on its own. I've got a minute. There we go. Wow. Don't know what you can see in there, guys. I can't really make it out, but if you ever crawled into that khaki so or you know, you never know. You stashed your cigarettes in there or something. You know, that's the type of place I'd have been stashing my gear at. Had this been my bedroom. Who knows? Um, oh wow, you can definitely tell this is Victorian era. It reminds me of the horrible hospital out of Return to Oz. Just look at that, man. And then if you look up through the uh, attic, there's multiple rooms up there. If I can get in there, guys, I'm gonna. And I'm also gonna reluctantly brave the basement. Jesus Christ. So, oh wow. Yeah, it's a little more, um, a little more dodgy, I'm getting wrong. Oh, it's Gary, I'm gone a minute. I'm gone a minute, brother. Yes, bro. Yeah, I'm in. Check, look, look, look. Hey, Gary, I've got to go. I've got to go, Gary, I can hear shit. You can hear what, shit? I'll be out in a minute. We made it, son. Um, wow, yeah. Uh, if you look here, guys, we've actually got. Whoa, I'm an opening to the outside now. I can't Ooh, get through it. Well, yeah, I can actually. I'm just gonna oh, lean you out of it and let you have a proper look. If you ever sat on this balcony back in the day, guys, give us a shout, man. Probably just me spooking myself out, you know, it's drips and all that business, I know that, but... Um, I don't know whether it's because of the creepy stories I've heard or or what, but I am genuinely getting, like, uh, just that, oh man, you know, that back of the neck vibe. Got an old. Hello? You've got this doorway here, guys. What leads into this? Very creepy little room, but if you look within the walls, there's a Nazi swastika there. But within these walls here, guys, look. My God, there's actual wallpaper in a little cupboard man look at that oh my god look at that guys <gasps> wow let me beam it in how far down can you see jesus <sighs> look at 
that guy as you can see right through these crawl spaces my god guys do you know what it reminds me of this little room and the crawl space there it's like the fucking people under the stairs isn't it man remember the Res Wes Craven film my lord got another sky like there is another hole there wow so I guarantee kids who used to stay here would have got into these crawl spaces there's no question about it but if we look here what is that wow what would that have been I have no idea and this is such a strange little room I'm wondering if this is in fact the turret bit guys but there's a there's a bit more above us. If you look here, there's another little cubby hole. Oh, Jesus. I was very reluctant to open that then, to be honest. Look at that. I bet there's uh, children's names drawn inside these little cubby holes and that, you know. Um, and and don't, don't get me wrong, guys. I know I'm saying things, you know, I'm, I'm leaning towards the bad side of things and I shouldn't be doing that because I've heard a lot of wonderful stories out of this place, you know. But if you look here, guys, we have indeed made it up into the tower. Look at that for a view. Wow. That is quite incredible, that is quite high up as well guys, if I spin the camera around I'm going to turn it to the house and hopefully you can make something out, I can't see but... I'm hoping you could see something guys. this the brick the brickwork here I'm not getting what it could have been I'm sure some of you guys will uh, will help us out but don't forget this place was built quite literally in the Victorian era you know so it's uh, I can already tell it holds many secrets you know what a place So yeah, um, wow look at that, almost looks like bullet holes. some kind of drawing over there like a clown or something really really airy vibe in this one guys particularly in this room um, 
Oh, I hope to God my camera work's been all right. It's, it's just a rush job, this one. No preparation. Drove past on the off and lo and behold, it were open, so... <laughs> we're in. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it up here, unless I'm missing. No, we're definitely... There is little attic spaces there, but that's literally only the triangle of the roof up there, so I don't think there's going to be all that much. But there is other, other dodgy little bits, you know, so... Um, yeah, I don't know, man, it's... I'm so glad I got in for you. I can stood here now, guys, I just took a couple... A couple of cinematics, and my God... That way there is uh, it's emitting a vibe that I'm not appreciative of, so <laughs> I'm out of that joint. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't be doing it on my own guys, it's dangerous, but I've got my lad and Gary outside on standby, as you know, so you know, we're uh, we're all good. I think that's the way I came back over, yeah, and then I would have went down them stairs, I think I went that way anyway. Yeah, so we've been through there. So what I want to do, guys, is, uh, yeah, I want to push back down these stairs again, and we'll see if we can get into the basement. Whew, guys, uh, seriously, I don't do just creepy, creepy stuff, but I mean, I do, it's, some of my vids are creepy, but I swear down dead, guys, I've just literally jumped out, I've taken a cinematic, yeah, and right here where I'm stood, I literally felt someone stood next to me, I'm not even fucking yet about, I'm literally shaking, I've jumped out my skin, I've got goosebumps, man, look, the air stood up on my arms, literally, oh man, right here at the top of these stairs, it is the creepiest fucking thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> See ya. Seriously, guys. Wow. Horrible. Really, do, you know, I'm, I'm glad I've got it done for you, but I really don't like this place, to be honest. <laughs> that is the God's honest truth, and it, it probably doesn't even look all that foreboding on the video for you, but... I'm telling you now, it's, uh, yeah, I'm not enjoying it, I'm really not, and I certainly don't fancy going down this fucking basement, pardon my French, I'll be deadly serious with you, I mean, Jesus Christ, look at this now, um, yeah, I don't even want to be in here, I'll be honest, but I'm going to get it finished, I am sh legit shitting myself now, guys, I'm not even messing about, pardon my French, uh, yeah, I'm just, just come, to, let me get some cinematics again, guys, I swear to God, man, uh, I am cold in here, I just want to check in here again in case I can see anything, what we missed, and we've missed these old coat hooks here, look at those, and uh, got an old salt air telephone, and Look at the stained glass, they've, they've took all the glass out and busted all the lead, but I was just taking some cinematics and I just heard something out here towards these stairs and uh, I'm not honest, I swear to God guys, I've never had an experience like that in my life. There was someone, st I turned my head when I was taking the cinematic and looked and I was waiting to see someone, there's no one there. Um, yeah, I am... Uh, my God, I don't even want to look behind me in here. I am legitimately... Uh, shitting myself, pardon my French. I'm sorry for the swearing, I'm sorry for the dodgy camera work. It's a... Bit of a dodgy one, but... God damn, I love these rooms with the light. Um, yeah, it's all to do with me being on my own and that, I suppose, but... Got some old... Uh, yeah, just safety things. I think that's from when it were a council building and then you've got what I assume were the uh, kitchens here, you know? Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie guys, that section there, what seems to be the oldest part, my God, is harboring some vibes. And you know, there you go, look at that. I'm not one for this. I mean, I know I get creeped out sometimes, that's natural, but this is, uh, this is a different type of creepiness, this guys. Got the old radiators there, look at those. I don't know, I don't know what this room would have been. I'm hoping some of you guys can timestamp the videos and I just hope I've caught enough for you guys because I'm not going to lie, I don't even want to be in here anymore but I'm going to brave it and uh, I'm going to try and show you that basement. Um, yeah, I'm shitting myself man. Uh, double scan the room guys, I apologise, no idea what that one would have been but my god that's that's got a creepy vibe as well hasn't it, you know? Oh wow look at that, you've got this beautiful, well what would have been a beautiful bay window guys. You can see the ivy coming at the top of that window, so the, the sheets of the window. Just look at that guys. The old Victorian fireplace which I assume was covered over because if you look there man you can actually see all the old soot wow one of these bags are pulling it all off just look at that man that's the original fireplace but I'm going to try and aim my torch up I wonder if you guys can make anything out of there. Yeah, I hope you could. The creepy vibes kind of settled. Honest guys, I'm not messing about. When I was at the top of them stairs then, my God, I had the creep, the, honestly the creepiest experience I've ever had in my life. Honestly in my life, not just urban exploring. Um, oh my. Jesus Christ Almighty. My fucking God, I don't want to go down here. Don't even know if you can see anything, guys. The torch is crap. Not my torch has gone conveniently. Oh my God Almighty. Um. Jesus Christ, guys. My torch has completely gone here, guys. Uh, let me try my flashlight on my phone as well, one second. Um, sorry, guys, one minute. Jesus, there you go. I'll hold my torch and the flashlight on my phone out. <gasps> oh, my God, guys. Um, fuck me. Got vibes behind me. Jesus, look at that. It's some kind of old uh, washroom. You've got an old fire door there, but my God, I have got vibes down here, guys. Um, you can see where an old fireplace would have been there. Jesus, look at that. You can go through there. Um. Sorry if my torch isn't bottom me a picture. Look at that old washer. Now normally I'd stick around and have a look, but um... oh guys, I'm sorry if I swear, but fucking hell, it's horrible in here. My God, look at it. Oh Jesus Christ, it's fucking massive. Um. Sorry if the light and the flashlight's all over the shop, guys, but I'm, I'm winging it here with an half-dead torch and a fucking... Oh, shit, look at that. 
My God, I'm sorry it's so dark, guys. Um, I've got to keep talking here. Uh, wow, look at that. I don't know if you can make anything out in that room. Um, my God, honestly. This, this honestly makes Buffalo Bill's basement look like a fairy tale. Jesus Christ, look at these little things on wall here. Um, don't know what they are or where. I mean, it's just creepy down here. You feel like there's people behind you all the time, like, you know. But not as bad as upstairs, but it is horrible. Jesus, look at this. Oh my God, there's a window there. Why would there be a window there? That is weird. Um, yeah, it's probably going to look really grainy and terrible, guys. But to be honest with you, you might as well thank your lucky stars because you don't want to see this fucking place. It's horrible. My God. Uh, so yeah, look at the peel on ceiling and that. I'm sorry it was a quick run, run guys, but I don't want to be down there anymore. Yeah, I want to get more cinematics than that, guys, but honestly, I'm genuinely shitting myself. Oh, my God, and look at the stair there. God damn, it's a good job I looked down. Nearly went, then. And if you look there, there is my beautiful exit. Um, sort my phone out and just... Turning my torch off, guys, but... Um, my God, I don't know what I've missed, and I don't know where. Uh, I hope I've got everything, guys. I think I've got the fundamentals, but I just want out of this gaff, man. I'm so sorry I couldn't do it in depth and, and a little bit earlier, but you don't understand, my God. <sighs> you do not understand how good it feels to get back outside. Little bit of rain, my, look, my cap, yeah, is saturated, man. I'm dripping. Probably white as a ghost. Hmm, little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this was the, uh, well, notorious now for my Urbex record, the notorious Oakland's Children's Home. And that right there is pretty much the final shot you're ever going to see of the old place and my god imagine pulling up to that as a kid terrifying take it easy guys peace you can actually see up on the top there it says something furs foundry possibly i can't furs lane maybe furs lane foundry I can't make it out, man, but incredible. Yeah, one last bit, guys, uh, before we go. I've just noticed on my way out this little back section, so I want to take you up here in case you ever, uh, you ever came up here when you were little. You can come round this little, uh, little ramp here. I assume that would have been a later edition but just lock up there guys my lord this is a foreboding and extremely intimidating looking building I just hope that I covered enough for you have a look down here Oh wow, look, yeah, um, you can actually, wow, so look at that, that must be the door, with the fire door, that was broken open in the basement, um, Jesus Christ, yeah, look at that guys, oh god, that is so creepy in there, sat that, honestly guys, literally, you walk up to the place, and when you get near the door, you can feel, it's like, it's like, well, for example, you know when Gary lets rip in the car 
and it stinks, but you can also chew it. So if you got in the car, you'd literally feel it envelop your whole body. You know, the stench. Well, that's what it's like in there, man, except it's a creepy, creepy vibe, you know, as opposed to Gaddy's arsehole. <laughs> oh, man. And if you look there, guys, you can actually see the original, uh, original gateway. So, uh, oh, rev up all you want, you tit. Look at that, guys. And then you've got the ivy climbing up the other one that remains. And then just through there. Wow. What a foreboding gaff. Top of the stairs, Garrett. I swear I got a thought it was you. I thought you were in there. I'm gonna get you. You were just here at the side of me. There was some fucker stood at the top of the stairs and I shit in my pants, I kid you. No, Gary, I'm not uh, messing about. It's the creepiest place I've ever seen in my life. You don't just shit yourself about getting over these friends and getting out. I've never, never, ever had an experience like that. You don't no. understand. Seriously, man, I'm shaking. Look, I've gone pale. You are right, sure. Oh, you don't understand, man. I really did legitimate <laughs> Thank God we didn't go well, I was saying, now, over, over there, you'd be having the scariest moment again. Honestly, I'm not messy. You're a non-believer as well. There's vibes and there's vibes. I even said in there, Buffalo Bill. I went down the basement on my own. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Buffalo Bill's gaff was like a fairy tale compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, we all laugh at Gary going over fences, but... <laughs> Come on, Clark. Yeah. Coffee, Show us how it's done, mate. Oh, he's doing good. <laughs> Whoop, whoop, wait, stop on there. You can see your nuts there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And he did it. And that is how you do it, lads. Now, we're off to um, another location now, guys, but I kid you not, I'm still shaking, man. That, 
honestly was the creepiest encounter I've ever had in my life. Gary thinks it's funny. He reckons it's going to follow me home and start blowing on me bum hole when I'm in bed under quilt. <laughs> Who's that? Now that's the, <laughs> that's, the, that's the type of haunting you want in it, brother. There's somebody there. There's <laughs> somebody there. Please stay. It's Gary. <laughs> <laughs>